right. and everyone will be on the safe side. All right, Ayamide, thank you very much you know, for this uh, perspective you've given us into this issue. Ayamide Ajegbe is a senior reporter covering the vision. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Well, let's now bring in Director General of uh, the Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau, Captain Alex Bade Jr., for more on this. Uh, Captain, well, this is uh, breaking news, of course, and uh, we're getting information by the R. We heard that three bodies have so far been recovered. What more can you tell us about this helicopter crash? Uh, good evening. Uh, so far, we don't know uh, too much. Uh, we just know it departed the uh, uh, earlier uh, in the morning. And uh, just a few minutes uh, prior to landing, they uh, informed uh, the rig where they were landing that uh, they needed to ditch. And I think about a minute later, uh, they ditched in the ocean. Uh, once that was done, I understand the rig uh, uh, sounded alarm, and they sent out the boats and a few other uh, boats and ships in the area uh, helped with the rescue efforts. They were able to pick out three bodies in the water, but so far they haven't uh, recovered uh, any more. The search and rescue is still ongoing. It's a little late now. Uh, I know uh, the Nigerian Navy dispatched a helicopter that went out there and then I came back to shore because of the weather. So that's really hampered the search and rescue operation uh, this evening. Uh, it will continue uh, tomorrow morning, I presume, probably late into the night, and then early tomorrow we'll know a bit more uh, what led to this uh, yeah. while we start our investigation. All right, now, hypothetically, do we know the cause of the crash? Oh, no, that will be speculating. Uh, we have no idea now until we get the flight data recorder and cockpit, cockpit voice recorder, as well as communication between uh, the helicopter pilot and air traffic control. Uh, we can start to form uh, or formulate ideas as to what happened. We will have our pre preliminary reports out here in about 30 days uh, once we're able to recover the FDR, CVR. Uh, just, uh, uh, I believe the helicopter crashed in an area where uh, between 50 to 100 meters of water, so we'll have to uh, coordinate with the Nigerian Navy for divers to go in there to recover the flight data recorder and copy voice recorders. You mentioned it's late and that you no know, rescue operations would continue tomorrow. Does it mean that it would be suspended for the night? Uh, I, I can't say it's been suspended or not. I, I know there are boats out there, but we're talking about the air component. Today's will most likely uh, resume in the morning. All right, then. And uh, the minister, you know, in the statement released, actually indicated that no emergency locator transmitter signal was received and that manual efforts to determine the accident location are underway. What is the implication of this? Uh, well, first, the, the location has been, uh, it's been, it's, it's been located. The crash location is known. Uh, as for the ELT, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, sometimes it might fail to deploy. I can't speak as the veracity of that uh, at this moment. But... Uh, the airplane or the crash site has been located as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know. All right. And, uh, you know, from your experience as a captain, uh, what really could have gone wrong with, you know, this helicopter? Uh, that would be speculating again, and uh, I can't speculate uh, at this moment. All right. Well, we know the NNPC also has released a statement saying that, you know, the helicopter was uh, carrying it's staff. There were six passengers and two crew members on board, you know, that uh, ill-fated uh, helicopter. What more can you tell us and what kinds uh, of, uh, you know, support could be available in the end? 